Hey, the YouTube is the under 73 making another episode of Knife Talk, and today we are going to be talking about uh, blade hardness on the Rockwell C scale. Now, a lot of knife steels that are obviously you have to harden them to a certain point to get them to hold an edge well. Now, a lot of them have ranges that the manufacturers of the steels recommend it to be hardened for optimal use. An example, I believe, for S30V here, so both S30V knives, and uh, I believe S30V, the bottom of the recommended is like 58 and the upper end is 61. So they recommend the knife being in that bracket of uh, hardness. And um, obviously, with most things in knife, knives, there's a lot of give and take. When you have a softer steel, like on the Sebenza, I believe this is run at 58 to 59, so the lower end of the uh, scale. Now, when you have a softer steel, it won't hold its edge as well as something that's like 59 to 60, which I believe the pair of two is at. Now some people will say, well, that's really similar, you know, it's only one point apart, but the Rockwell C hardness scale, HRC, is um, logarithmic, so it's like one step up is a very, it's very, very different. So, um, it's not linear. So when you have something that's soft like this, on the, on the Sebenza, um, you don't have as much edge retention, but what you do get is toughness. And I think that's why Chris reruns the steel a little bit on the softer side, is simply because it makes for a tougher knife, you know? I mean, like with my Sebenza here, I dropped it once like this on the tip, and the, uh, the uh, tip is sort of flattened instead of chipped off. So, uh, not that big of a deal, in other words. Whereas the Para 2 here, um... It's a great knife in terms of steel. It's on the harder side, so edge retention will will be better than the Sebenza, but it's not as tough. If you drop this knife on the tip, it's breaking. It's not going to bend because it's so hard, it's brittle. So, I mean, when you go harder, you get better edge retention, but you get a brittler steel. When you go softer, you get tougher steel, but with less edge retention. So, really, it boils down to what you want. And honestly, I mean, there's enough of both in the market. I mean, the Sebenza is nice because it's really... You know, it's really tough. I mean, you probably won't see a chipped out Sebenza simply because the steel is run softer. Like, on the other hand, you know, Spyderco, it'll be easier to chip out because it's harder and more brittle. So, I mean, like I said, preference. You know, I like both. I have both. So, that's my opinion. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the views and the support and the requests. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.